Welcome back to the podcast. We've got a special up today. We've got Cody Breed on for a chat. Um, Cody, you want to give us a bit of a backstory on yourself? Yeah, righto. So, um, a bit of a backstory. Started playing me uh, juniors uh, at Macedon um, in the RDFO. Um, just been, yeah, followed along there with me juniors and then um, come down to Sunbury in the lines, come down to the Sunbury lines um, in 2018 and just played a bit of footy down there. Uh, been with the Cannons the last uh, two seasons and obviously uh, the bit of school footy last two seasons as well. But um, yeah, that's pretty much a bit of a backstory of my footy. So what got you into footy and like at what age roughly? Oh, I think um, any sort of youngster kicking, kicking the footy around the backyard. I always sort of loved it. Um, loved watching the big games. I'm an Essendon fan, so the Anzac Day games always got me got me up and about. Love those big games. And so I think um, those, yeah, the big games and just sort of always kicking the footy with your mates um, before training. Love that. Um, maybe kick after training, all those sort of things. So I think um, the camaraderie with your mates, the social sort of side of it, I reckon. Um, made a few mates from footy, so um, that sort of really got me on the footy. And then probably to take it more seriously was probably, um, you know, obviously you start getting involved in the Attack Cup NAB League programs. So um, I yeah, probably decided... When it was yeah, starting getting pretty serious, that you know, might be able to bu- buckle down and make a bit of a bit of a living out of it. Um, growing up playing your juniors or like not even juniors, but say like for the Canners or anything, have you had any like memories or significant moments or achievements like, that stick to you from your free career? I think really probably the biggest that I probably hold to myself is just playing um like bottom age, uh, making the squad at Canners. I think that's just I think every bottom age just wants to make the squad and then sort of play as soon as possible. Um, I was lucky enough to make it and play round one, so I think that was just a bit of a bit of just a self self little goal that I set, and probably something that in the grand scheme of things it's not huge, but um, but for me it was yeah, it was pretty pretty big. Do you feel like, like when you're a young fella, did you look up to anyone and say like not just in the footy industry or like want to follow the footsteps of anyone? Uh, yeah, look, I, I followed. Um, I looked a lot at uh, Richie McCaw from the All Blacks. Um, I really liked. How he went about, went about his success with the All Blacks and how great of a captain he was at number seven and how he played that role. So I think um, I really looked up to him. I've read, I've read his book twice, three times. I've watched the documentary. I'm a bit of a bit of a guru about it. So um, I think he was probably my idol outside of footy. But um, yeah, that's that's probably I think yeah, it would be it would definitely be him, Sir Richie. Um, so what made you decide to go down the pathway of footy? Oh, I think. Yeah. I think just from a very young age, obviously the love for the game. Um, I think that was definitely something that stuck out to me, and then I uh, just started taking it a little bit more seriously. Really, um, there was no real push from push from the parents or anything. They were sort of like, you know, you just do what you want to do, um, and hopefully, fingers crossed, she all works out sooner rather than later. So, um, so I just mentioned playing your juniors. What was that like? And like growing up around footy. Um, yeah, it was good. It was a small town, Macedon, so um, you know, I played eight odd years there. Um, made some you know, my best mates, still plays there. Um, you know, countless amount of friends. Um, you know, it was, there's such a community that's involved in there. You know, junior footy, um, and that sort of is integrated with their senior footy. So, I think you know, um, it, was, like, it was really good to have the tight knit community behind the junior program, and I think that sort of pushed and helped. The strength of the juniors growing up. Yeah. So you did your schooling at Essendon Grammar, as well as played um, your footy, your school footy there. You also had a few like great coaches, Dustin Fletcher, um, who also helped you a bit. What was that like? Ah, uh, look, it was pretty surreal. I mean, being a Bombers fan, always looked up to does, and uh, it was pretty surreal to be him for him to be my backline coach and doing one on one work with him. So uh, that was pretty good. Obviously, we were successful. Uh, with our school footy campaign, got the chocolates. Um, they were a great, great bunch of boys that will uh, will cherish and last and memories forever. So I was pretty lucky enough to play on a good side. You know, the likes of Harry Jones, who's been picked up. Uh, Lockie Gallant also got picked up. So, um, well, yeah, we we're pretty talented across the board. And um, yeah, look, I think I think every single character that played um, throughout that year made that team um, as good as it was. And, and Look, um, I couldn't ask for a better bunch of boys to win it with, really. Being selected for the Cannons, what was that like on an experience base or like, say, like, 
you said you got picked up for for your bottom age and like played in your bottom age year. How was that? Like the experience along the way. Oh, I reckon the exposure was probably the best. Um, obviously, um, I played against some pretty bigger bodies to start off with. Uh, that was that was pretty good. But I think just the, the environment um, of the of the older boys and sort of the, the way they went about their footy, I had a lot to learn off um, Brody Newman. Um, he was sort of a bit of my right hand man for uh, pretty much the whole time I was there as a bottom major. But um, I think just those older boys and the exposure that you get on game day, um, how they go about it, and especially from the other teams, really. Like you look at, um, you, know, you had your Sandys, your Oakleys, and how good they were. Um, you just like get a bit of an insight on the game day about how they go about their footy, how they prepare, and um, oh, it's like it's great. It's it's pretty much priceless to learn from. So. I think that's yeah. You just try and soak up as much as possible. Selected play from the um, Cannons, you got selected further to play in the NAB AFL All Stars. What was that like playing against some of the best players, I suppose, in the country? Yeah, I mean it was uh, it was pretty pretty good. I mean, grand final day playing on the G um, before the grand final was uh, a bit. Uh, it was a it was a, <laughs> it was a bit uh, a bit nervy there for us to start off with, but I mean, um, look. Great bunch of boys, made plenty of friendships, um, you know, still talk to them today. I think, um, you know, they're going all right in their respective states. Obviously, they're out there playing footy and we're still we're still locked up. But, um, look, it was, uh, it was a great experience. Um, you know, the boys, there's a, there's a hell of a lot of talent out there. And I think um, given if we didn't have the circumstances that we had this year, uh, they really would have been able to put on a show at the carnival. Um, hopefully, I think that would have been a, real good carnival this year but yeah credit to all the boys they're playing good footy at the moment and um you know, let's just hope that the, the Vicks you know the boys in Victoria we can get out and do something so yeah that was good. So you also did your training with uh the James Heard Academy what was that like and the experience of all things? Yeah I mean it was it was pretty good I um trained obviously Heath Hocking trains me a fair, has trained me a fair bit um throughout the Last couple of years, so it's been yeah, it's been great to get to the get to the bombers and um, see what they're all about, um, see how they work, see what the professional professional environments like. But um, I mean, probably the one thing that probably stands out to me is how they go about it as a holistic approach, um, just from on field to off field um, to mental, uh, then to you know, your diet and eating and nutrition and those sort of things, and then. You know, I was lucky enough to train with the bombing um, last year for, you know, in December in the pre-season. So I was lucky enough to get down there and train with the boys. And it was, um, like, that was surreal as well. I mean, you're running around with you know, genuine AFL players as a 17-year-old. It's a bit of a bit of a dream. But, um, yeah, that no, was good. Um, you know, they shared heaps of knowledge down to me. Uh, everything, you know, I was going to take into this year had come from, you know, a handbook that, you know, he's open to me and explained to me. So there's been plenty of uh, tricks that I had in the bag for this year, but I wish I have to wait and save until next year, I reckon. Yeah. So do you have any, I guess, advice for, you know, younger kids or just kids in general that are wanting to go and pursue uh, footy outside of just fun, but, like, make a living out of footy? Yeah, I reckon, to be honest, um, you've just got to stick to love in the game. I think the love for the game is what you know, takes you as far as possible. I mean, um, you can get caught up in the theatrics about it. Oh, I'm not, I'm not tall enough. I'm not, I'm not big enough. I'm not strong enough. But I think if you just remain um, constant at your craft and you just you, know, you constantly love the game, I, I honestly think anyone can just about do it. Um, and then you know you you might get lucky and you might get selected, but and you think it's luck, but really it just comes down to you know you've. You've been training. You've, you know, you. They can see that you love the game. They can see that you can play the game. So, and I think another thing as well that comes with that is just backing your own ability. I mean, there's many yeah. kids out there that don't have a lot of self confidence. Um, you know, they might be coming up against players that are, you know, may, they may think that are a bit better or a little bit more known than them. I think you've just got to, you know, take a step back and just say, well, I'm in this position for a reason, and I'm going to prove to everyone else that this is why I'm here and I can do it. Um, so thanks guys for watching this week's video with Cody Brand. Go check out our Instagram where our link to all our socials will be um, in the bio as well as go check out Cody's Instagram. Link will be in the description. But thanks a lot Cody for jumping on. It uh, means a lot and best of luck for the upcoming draft.
too easy. Thanks, boys. Thanks I'll a like lot. I'll hear from you soon. Sure thing.